Dr. Jaffe, one of our customers writes in and must know that you love this topic because they ask if you would briefly explain the green light therapy and who and when it should be implemented. Thank you for asking, and I'm going to do my best to be succinct but sufficient in saying that the eye, this is true for all mammals that have eyes, but we're just going to focus on people for the moment. When light comes into the eye, one of the seven levels of the retina, one of the seven levels of the nerve called the image processing nerve, one of those levels of nerves goes directly to the deep brain, something called the pineal. The pineal is a control center that tells the pituitary, known as the master gland, what to do. So the pineal, in a sense, is the mistress to the master gland. And when green light comes into the eye and is transmitted directly to the pineal, in essence, the pineal gland says, ah, oh, that is so balancing and harmonizing. The analogy here is walking under the canopy of a mature woods. It's called forest bathing in Japan. And if you can do that, if you can amble in a mature woods, you will get green light coming through the canopy. So historically, we evolved under green and today, most of us have artificial light that is disruptive to the rhythms of the pineal gland and therefore disruptive to our restorative sleep, disruptive to our digestion, disruptive to our hormones and neurochemicals, disruptive to our immune defense and repair system, just generally afflictive. <clears throat> and there's one specific way to generate truly green chroma, truly green color, truly green wavelengths and frequencies, and that's dichromatic bulbs. So these are light bulbs. They fit into lighting bases. They're 150 watt par 38 dichro. And the critical thing is dichromatic dichro. They're available from vitamins-today.com. They're available from thinkingofyoutoday.com. They're available from specialty lighting stores <clears throat> and must be dichromatic, must, must be dichromatic to be effective, beneficial, and physiologically, functionally helpful. Now, when would I use green dichromatic light? I would use green dichromatic light with anyone who has a chronic illness. I would use green dichromatic light with anyone who uh, considers themselves or is highly sensitive uh, to this 21st century, uh, where we're marinating in artificial and imbalanced lighting that can be rebalanced through green dichromatic exposure. The green dichromatic light is better if it's the only illumination in the area where you are. It should be comfortably warm. That's usually a distance of about four feet. And eyes open or eyes closed doesn't matter because it's not the intensity of the green, but rather the ratio of the green frequencies to blue and the green frequencies to red that the pineal uses uh, to determine whether you are in a harmonizing phase, green dichromatic being harmonizing and generally helpful. And available ad lib, you can use it at least 20 minutes twice a day. If you use it at least 20 minutes twice a day, you'll get benefit. But beyond that, it's ad lib. It's the only dichromatic one that you can use ad lib. Uh, there are other colored dichromatic bulbs that need training in their therapeutic use or beneficial use. <clears throat> but the green is harmonizing and recommended now for everyone of those of us who feel that we might have switched out of our elective protective phase into a survival mode. For any of us who has a chronic illness, whether it be self-attacking autoimmune or it be repair deficit inflammatory, any of us who wanna tune up uh, so that we're more resilient 
uh, in response to the 21st century challenges. Anyone who just wants healthier, uh, more physiologically supportive lighting will use the green dichromatic light as recommended. 